we talk about you. Eminem, we y'all. <laughs> That's why we here tonight. Huh? Oh. Fuck Eminem. <laughs> and fuck everybody down with Eminem. And my thing is this, bro. Oh, no, no. My thing is oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> my thing is this. Oh, we don't that nigga ain't, quick time, so that nigga won't face me. All right. When we was in Puerto Rico, I was with my man Wes. Uh-huh. We popping the motherfucking dashboard with the guns in the dashboard. Like, we caught... Who, who's this DJ fan? Who's Eminem's DJ at the time? It, Green Lantern? Was Green Lantern caught him. Or put Alchemist. The thing all, like, yeah, outside the DJ convention. Yeah, don't fuck around with me, man. Yeah. I'm that nigga, bro. Yeah. I don't play that shit. No. Yeah, yeah, that nigga's... Like, God bless him and what he do. But, bro, we come from a whole different right. motherfucking war and a whole different trenches, bro. Right. That nigga ain't us. Right. Like what the fuck, bro? So hold on, all right. How cool. many niggas around you done died, nigga? Oh, I can tell you how many niggas around in Boston. In Boston, he talk about the mean streets of Boston. Niggas will motherfucking destroy him from Boston, bro. We're like niggas, death and destruction is all we know, and oh, right. like come on, man, like like yeah, man, like fuck everything else, man, like you know these niggas be for twenty years is oh fuck you, Eminem destroy, destroyed who? Right. Who the fuck he destroyed, bro? Okay. Yeah, so man, like. Like, there, yeah, stay bro, there, right? like, okay. You think I'm scared to die? And oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 nigga, fuck all that. That's how we live. Huh. Yeah, nigga, fuck that nigga, man. Huh. Huh. Yeah, what we doing? Huh. Yeah, ain't, ain't no fair, ain't no, we don't scare, we don't, like, hip hop's arch. Man, huh. listen, bro. <laughs> yeah. Can we yeah, come back right. to Quick time is live. that shit, man. Quick time Fuck, he, live. Thought, he thought he could just diss me and mention my princess, my baby. He thought he could mention the princess. She ain't done nothing but speak highly of this dude, bro. Why would you say some shit like that about princess, about my daughter? Whatever the fuck we go through, are you crazy? Huh? Like, bro, listen, bro, my thing is this, bro. How about this? I know he ain't gonna fight me. I know that. But how about I'll battle that nigga in a, in a how, about I'll, how about we put this to bed three round battle where, where, where me and him battle, battle rap, we have a minutes and we battle. How about that? Okay. Why don't, just battle, no violence. After that we can hug it out. No violence, after that we can hug it out and let this shit be over 22 years. He making a song about the Zista, about me. See, it's easy to, to, to yo, he loving hip hop. In the 80s, I was a fucking monster, man. I done been shot, and I done shot more niggas at that night I done got shot. Huh, you think Boston is a joke? Boston ain't no fucking joke. Niggas, all my niggas in Boston, Boston's no joke. Don't think Boston's a joke. Surviving Boston with the racism and the motherfucking gang shit in Boston since 85? My nigga, Boston ain't no joke. Boston ain't no joke to make it out of Boston. I love my Boston. I, I, yeah, yeah, come on, man. Mean streets of Boston. And you fucking, and Detroit. I was fucking with YBI in 87. I couldn't say nothing until Pep wrote the book. And then I could say, yeah, nigga, you crazy. I was in Detroit in the 80s. My nigga Sale Dog shot, Ultimate Kid, Pep, YBI. We been fucking with each other, the Bomb Boys. Like, this is, like, we lose people with hip hop. We, hip hop, hip hop is, uh, is the blood that we lose. Like, them young niggas in Chicago and everywhere else, my nigga, they killing each other and it's, and it's over hip hop. It's over hip hop. Like hip hop is who we are. He can't come in and invade hip hop in Rosenberg and make trillions of dollars. This nigga didn't even go to Nipsey's funeral, bro. If he's so fucking hip hop, why? How come he ain't blocked ten blocks in motherfucking Detroit and give it to the homeless black people? Man, fuck Eminem, bro. They trying to kill me right now, bro, because of this shit I'm saying, because it's deep, bro. Let me tell you, his fans, bro, his fans like him because he's white. They don't fuck with us. This, let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get, let me get all the way one funky with you. That's it. What? That's it. What? Let me tell you what this is, right? Eminem was born in Missouri, in a little town where there's no black people. He grew up around no black people. They moved to Detroit. They moving up. One thing about Michigan, they moved to Michigan. Michigan really is you got your black parts and you got your white parts. 
your black hoods and your white hoods. Just like Boston. Like, 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 just like the bean. Just like the bean. Just the bloody bean, man. The bloody bean. The, we, the, the niggas in Boston don't get their props, bro. Like, the motherfuckers up there, they they hide and they. But man, black people in Boston, are, we the we the best. We we ain't recognized enough, man. We ain't recognized enough, man. I'm the only nigga that's shout out to Bobby Brown, the new edition. But I'm really the only nigga that. Man, I, I I bled for Boston. But what I'm saying is Eminem, he wasn't around black people. He made a, a racist tape with two other guys. Those guys came and sold me the tape. I paid $15,000. Those guys says, hey, they show up in the source office like, hey, like, hey, um, we want to sell you the tape. We've been trying to sell the tape for $50,000 to Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti didn't want, I'm not paying you $50,000. And before I put y'all in the trunk, I'm going to pay you 50, 15000 Yeah, because I want to put them in the trunk. I want to put them in the trunk and then hold them for ransom and tell Eminem to come get them. But I say, you know what, hold up. I told you about the Damon Jay-Z story when they came up there wanting to cover and niggas was up there strapped the fuck up at the source. Did I tell you that story? I'm going to get to that story after this. Ask me about that story if I forget. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I don't mind drinking. Because it all come out. Right. Yeah, because I fuck with everybody. But ain't nobody fucking with me. And my niggas in Boston, we, yeah. Death is killing me ain't shit. I'm going to come back as a fucking uh, a raccoon or something. I don't give up. I'm, I'm going to live again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, you know, 58. I didn't know I was making it to this long. Mm. The bottom line is when Eminem came, bro. But he came from Missouri, you know, and then he got with these two white guys and they made a whole hour's tape of the rap racist hour. And they called niggas and porch monkeys and niggas. And, and then this nigga Nick Cannon comes out like, yo, yeah, man, man, man. nigga, you fucking talk about the shit that I've been talking about. How come you ain't talk? How come you ain't mentioned the fucking Zista, nigga? Huh? You, you over here talking the same shit I'm talking, and that's dope. I like you for that. But mention the Zista. You got the turban on. And I don't, mention the fucking Zista, nigga. That's what I was talking about, turban man. Don't fucking sit here and talk about all this. I don't give a fuck, bro. I've been dead a few times, bro. I'm Benzino from four. I'm Ray Dog from Four Corners. You just don't know me. This is new life. This is new some other shit. I know who the fuck I am. I'd rather go back there. I'm not even, I just had to adapt to this. I don't even like what's going on. I'm not even in this. I love my girl, me and my girl. I stay with my girl. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I know when I came up, I loved that better. This shit here is like the Eminem shit, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. That shit was designed to divide the white and black. Because white people was fucking with us with hip hop. White people was like, I hate niggas, but damn, this hip hop is kind of cool. Just like white people say, I hate niggas, but damn, that nigga's dunking that basketball for my city and I love him. What's the difference? Yeah, Paul Pierce, yeah, Paul Pierce got stabbed up because he was being aggressive with my nigga, with my nigga's girl. And he disappointed me when he went on Stacks and, and, and who's and Matt Barnes' interview and started, bro, bro. Bro, with a camera, bro, you, you getting aggressive with my niggas girl. That's my niggas girl. He don't got shit. He hustling in the, in the streets. You got millions of dollars and you, you ain't supposed to be in another, you from LA and you in another nigga city trying to get aggressive with a hood niggas girl? That's not smart, bro. Somebody should have told you. When you go in another city, these athletes, let me excuse these athletes, these NBA and NFL athletes. When you go in another city, relax, bro. Understand who you fucking. Some of these niggas, one of my nigga Mel McNeil ran up on Lloyd Malloy and his mother pulled that shit out because he was fucking his baby mother. 